Good morning, my beloved students. I hope that you are doing well and that you are safe, inshallah, as usual. Today, kids, as you can see, we're going to start with the very interesting lesson. We're going to start with the underground city. As you can see, it's a very interesting text. We're going to talk about too many interesting facts. So, are you ready to start? Perfect. Let's get started. Now, as usual first, let's talk a little bit about the genre of the text, the underground city. The underground city, the genre of the text is informational text magazine article. So, the informational texts, they include letters, emails, instructions, how-to articles, magazine articles, and ads. The informational texts, their primary purpose is to inform, to tell the reader, to give the reader different information about a certain topic. So, in the informational text, we're going to read different facts about a certain topic, different information about a certain text, for example. Now, before we start with the text, as usual, I need you to think of these questions. Number one, have you ever moved to a new place in which you were first to adapt the new environment? And why is it important that people adapt their new environment? And the third question is, is it easy to adapt new places? What do you think? So think of these questions because this is what we are going to talk about. We're going to talk about why is it important that people really adapt their new environment and they try to do new things in order to adapt with the new circumstances around them. So let's start with the text, the underground city. As you can see here, we have the genre of the text, which is the informational text. It is a magazine article. So, have you ever seen a house that is under the ground? Come visit a town called Cooper Piri. This is the name of the underground city. It is called Cooper Piri. As you can see, this is Australia and this is Cooper Piri. The town of Cooper Piri is in the southern Australia. So, what is Australia? Australia, as we know, is both country and continent, and Cooper Piri is a town in the north, in the northern South Australia, and the town is sometimes referred to as the Opal capital of the world because of the quantity of the opals that are mined there. So they called Cooper Piri also the opal capital of the world. So let's start. These are some different pictures for Cooper Piri. As you can see here, the houses are underground. So let's start. They tell us about 3,500 people live in Cooper Piri, Australia. From the streets, you might see only dirt, which means dust, and some trees. That's it. As you can see, this is the picture. You can see only dust, some trees, and that's it. But under the ground, there are homes. More than half of the people in the town live in underground houses. So they live in these underground houses. These are regular houses that look a lot like your house. The summer heat in Cooper Piri is extreme. So if we ask ourselves the question, why do they live in these underground houses? Because the summer heat in Cooper Piri is extreme. It's very hot. But the underground homes are efficient. They are really good. How? They stay cool during the hot months. That means people don't spend money on air conditioning. In the winter, 
the homes also stay warm that means people pay less for heat so they win in both seasons in summer they stay cool so they don't pay a lot they don't spend a lot of money on air conditioning and also in winter these underground homes they stay warm is it clear perfect so let's continue so if i ask you the question how did the people of cooper Pity adapt to the extreme heat they moved to the underground houses they stay cool during the hot months now look at this picture these are opals opals are beautiful gems that are used for jewelry it's super nice super beautiful and also rare so they tell us that opals are native to Cooper Piri, which means they are found in Cooper Piri. Most of the people who live there work in the opal business. They work in buying and selling opals. They dig up opals from under the ground, then they sell the opals to people all over the world this is their job the first opal was found in copper Piri in 1950 soon mining became popular there people who work in digging up and searching for jewelries for opals for for gold for iron it really became popular which means a lot of people really liked to do so the miners noticed they realized how cool the air was inside the mines when they were searching for iron gold and different things under the ground these men had slept in trenches in world were one so they knew they realized that living under the ground was cooler than living in the desert heat that's how the underground homes began as you can see here we have a picture of soldiers in world war one they lived in trenches trenches they are long narrow holes dug into the ground so they lived there and they realized that the temperature was really cool it was really nice it was cooler than the desert heat they had above the ground in cooper Piri. so if i ask you how did the underground home begin soldiers in world war one lived in trenches so people realized that living under the ground it was really cooler that than living in the desert heat that's how the underground homes began can you realize so they tried to adapt the really high temperature temperatures they have or they suffer from in summer take a look at the opals they are really nice really rare and really expensive as you can see here we have the litter in Cooper Piri people dig out dirt and leave it in big piles right hello Max this is a litter I am in Cooper Piri is it is a very special it's a very unusual town in Australia many visitors come to see the underground architecture the shapes the shapes of these buildings that are underground the people who live in Cooper Piri work hard in the heat all day in mining and different things they spend many hours drilling for opals searching for opals at the end of the day they go to their nice cool homes they live in underground caves under the ground i'll see you soon megan so what do you think is it really cool nice to live underground or do you think that it is really a very good idea to adapt the high temperatures in summer what do you think tell me so 
This is the informational text. Thank you so much and see you soon.